Hi, right, this time we're going to look at text. Text in Design Spark is a little bit clunky, but once you know how to do it, it's quite functional and you can just about achieve anything you want. So let's start with a new sketch. Right, we'll start with a rectangular surface. So we'll draw a rectangle. Go back to 3D, 3D mode. <coughs> select the surface and we'll select the dimensioning tool. So when we do that, if we look at our structure tree, we'll see there's an annotation plane. So all the text is attached to an annotation plane. So if we take a measurement across here, from there to there, you can see that one's 46 millimeters. We end and click off here. We end up with the measurement. Now, if we select that, delete it and we can put in our text test text and it's just a matter of positioning that somewhere in the location if we highlight it do a right click we can get our dialogue and we'll turn this one here select a some text from my font list so we'll go with Tarzan, actually if, if I highlight all of it, all of it will be in Tarzan, right click, and no, I'll just select something else this time, um, go for Albertus, right, right click again, select our font size, or we can type our font size in. Let's make it 16. And we end up with quite a large piece of text, 24 mils. Right, we can now select on that and move it into whatever position we want. <coughs> now if we rotate, you'll see that the text is actually sitting right on the surface and it's mostly more convenient if we have it slightly off the surface. So if we grab our move tool, we can grab our plane and we can just move it in front of the text a little bit. Sorry, in front of the rectangle a little bit. Let's go back and look at it square on again. Move it across to the right. highlight it, get our select tool, so it's highlighted, so if we go up to our project tool and now we can project that back onto the surface behind it, which we can't, well there it done, over here we'll click the tick to complete it, if we go back to our structure tree, we can hide our annotation plane and you'll see the surfaces there. We can draw a marquee through our text and just deselect the centers of the E's. Grab our pull tool and we can pull it out say one millimeter and there we have some text ready to go. We can we can delete the background if we want, or in this case we will. And the two bits in the middle of the E's. So there we have some text that we can do what we like with. Or if we undo it, we can select our text.
and this time we'll pull it back through and create an outline or we'll create our silhouette with it so there's our text so that's that's the easy part right let's get rid of that one and let's start with a cylinder so we'll grab a circle we draw a circle um, 50 millimeters inside of that we'll draw another circle of um, 46 that'll give us a two millimeter wall there we go so if we grab our pull tool select that and we'll make our cylinder 100 mils now circles become or cylinders circles become a little bit more difficult because of the way the text tool or the annotation tool works so let's grab that in surface there we'll grab our annotation or dimensioning tool let's put a a plane on the end it's a bit difficult to get a plane you mostly can select the middle and get a plane there but in this case we'll put it on the end now we'll get a dimension from here okay from there to there and it's the same again we highlight it delete and we'll just call this Joe Blow <coughs> and as you can see it's taken the, the font and this and the point size from previous so we can roughly line that up there now the any problem is that's on the end we want to put it in the side of the cylinder so as I mentioned before the text is attached to a plane so if we get our move tool we can select our plane we'll grab at the center of our movement we'll stick it on the edge of here we can now rotate the whole plane around so that it is vertical so if we put in 90 degrees it'll be vertical and it's in front of it we can now grab our text and we can position it in front of our cylinder wherever we like if we have a look we've got some clearance between the cylinder and our text right now we're where we are so there's our text we highlight our grab our select highlight our text and looks like it's got to move a little bit more to the right doesn't exactly do want to do what hour away grab hold of that That looks better now grab our select tool again highlight our text which is now moved off center a bit and we'll project that back onto the cylinder we'll click our tick to say we've done it back to our structure tree hide the annotation plane you can see <coughs> that we've now got the text wrapped around the cylinder so if we grab our select tool <coughs> we 
control click them all and we can grab our pull you'll see that now because it's on a cylinder it says that it's on a 25 mil radius so if we want to move it out a millimeter hit our space bar and we can put 26 there we go we now have our text in extruded from the surface of the cylinder turn our annotation plane back on again if we want to put this on the other side it's just a matter of selecting the move tool selecting our plane and if we grab the center of our move tool or the pivot point we can take it and stick it on this center line and we can wrap it around the other side 180 degrees it's now on the other side <coughs> we can do the same thing again grab our select tool highlight the text and then hit our project tool again click the tick to say that we want to finish thing go back to our structure tree and we can see that we now have the text on the surface again as an outline let's go down and select all the text control click and this time we'll go the other way so it's currently 25 so if we make that 20 it will emboss it into the surface and there we go that's pretty much text on design spark now one little trap is some fonts end up with little flat factors when they're projected especially in like the B corners you might notice when you try and project or emboss a font it will do some characters and not others if you zoom right in on the font that on the characters that it doesn't that don't um, transform especially on little areas like where the in this B or sharp corners like in the E you might find there's a little factor there like a little loop so if you delete that then the actual characters will respond to a, a pull so I hope that was of, of help and throws some light on text in Design Spark and as I mentioned earlier on one thing that makes working with text a little bit easier is if you get the annotation plane and move it away from your object so when you do a, a project there is space between the object and your text you'll find that there'll be a lot less hassles with the way it actually operates but as I said before it's a little bit clunky so you have to um, to get your head around how to get it to work